Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, June 24th, 2021. If you like supporting the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we have rallied. We're up to 0.18%, but we did reach towards the 20 exponential moving average, the 40, and we also had the 50 right above and got heavily rejected. So question is whether or not we roll over from here. If you get a red candlestick uh, here tomorrow, then we could go and we tested these lows again, uh, or we just... Uh, go for another run at the 20 and the 40 exponential if we manage to break above the 50 then we are looking at the previous highs here again at 1422 otherwise we will probably test the bottom again at just at the 200 moving average if we look at technical indicators we can see that the macd is still very bearish the rsi is flat at this point and on the edge of being over sold we have the cci that is a, it is a bearish as well the stochastic is very bullish and we are approaching the middle of the bullish band. So we this is not a very it's not a very bullish candlestick. This rejection here uh, from the 20 exponential, it could be an indication that we will roll over, but have to see that into tomorrow's session. So let's look at the US dollar Japanese yen. And as you can see, the, we are getting barely overstretched here. We can see that we are way outside of the Bollinger Band. And last time we did that, we basically broke towards the 20 exponential. It could stay here for probably two or three days. Um, we could have another rally up towards uh, uh, 111 uh, before basically breaking down towards the 20 exponential. We're also overbought at this point. However, other technical indicators are very bullish. If we were to break down, 20, expon 20 exponential has been uh, significant support, so it has the 40 and so has the 50 moving average. So let's look at the US dollar, uh, Euro US dollar. And as you can see, we did test the 300 moving average and got really rejected here. So this is not a very good sign. We are not even close to the middle of the bullish band. So there's a lot of room um, in order to recover here after this massive fall. But um, this candlestick here, not looking very promising. If we had managed to um, close above the 300 moving average, then we could. Um, had gone towards the 100 moving average. But at this point, it looks more likely that we're going to test the previous lows here. And if this breaks, then we are looking at much lower levels. If we look at other technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, the RSI is bearish and oversold, CCI is um, bearish, and the stochastic is bullish at this point. So let's do an Aussie dollar, US dollar. We can see that we have rallied from the 300 moving average, but are running into resistant at this current stage. So other technical news, we can see that we are way overstretched here in the bullish band and therefore we started to rally, but we're running into resistance just underneath the 20 exponential moving average. We can see the MACD is uh, bearish, the RSI is flat and oversold, CCI is bearish and the stochastic is bullish. So quite a mix. And um, if we were to break below the 300 moving average, then we are looking at probably down towards 0 0.71. Then we're seeing a complete tidal wave to the downside. But US dollar, of course, will uh, play a major role here if it starts to appreciate again. And then we're going to see uh, most of these current uh, currencies going to have uh, massive moves. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. And um, this is kind of what I expected. And um, ran into resistance here at the, the 150, 150 moving average fell towards the previous resistant uh, line, and then we bounced. So we could retest the resistant line. If we were to break uh, below here, then we could go back towards the bottom. Otherwise, we could basically bounce and then continue, continue upwards. So that is kind of where we are at this stage. We could see something similar to this, and then we technically change direction. Otherwise, we could also break below here and continue uh, this channel that we kind of have broken through in the last few trading days. If you look at other technical indicators, they are kind of favoring the downside. So MACD is still bullish, but it is turning around. RSI is becoming bearish, and the CCI is still a bullish territory, but it's also become bearish. Stochastic is bearish, and uh, we can see that 
If we break below the middle of the Bollinger Band here, then we could see a drop towards the very bottom of roughly 2.6% to the downside. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and good luck and thank you very much.